Good afternoon and thank you for joining me. My name is Grandmaster Rod Batiste. I'm an eight-degree black belt and a former middleweight champion of the world. I have trained over 500 students to the level of black belt in my history. And hopefully, with a little bit of effort, you can become one of them. In our previous video, we talked about the power that can be generated from a reverse punch. But as I mentioned in the video, skills tend to die out and become dull if you don't exercise. So now in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use the punch for exercise. I'll have my two assistants come in at this point. And this is Madison, and this is young Eddie. And the reason why I chose this age group is to, is to show that martial arts can be done as a family workout. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm our body up, lubricate the muscles, and get them ready for the vigorous workout. Okay, ready guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jumping jacks. Begin. One, One sir, sir, two, two sir, sir, three, three sir, sir, four, sir, sir five, sir, six, six sir, sir, seven, eight, sir, eight, eight sir, nine, nine if you're doing this exercise uh, at home, make sure that you warm the body up because you want to decrease the risk of injury because your muscles are not warm sufficiently. Okay, toe touches. Are we ready? Arms up. Ready? Let's go. Touch. Down. Touch. One, sir. Touch. Down. Touch. Two, sir. Touch. Down. Touch. Three, sir. Touch. Down. Touch. Four, sir. Touch. Down. And five, sir. Very, very good. Okay, guys. Roll the shoulders around, lubricate those joints, get them ready for the punching. Lean forward and shake out. And remember, you two at home can be following along with this. As you come up, continue to shift and move those shoulders around. Now swivel from left to right. And here we go. Now again, this, ex this video is for exercise. If you need further details on the, on the punch itself, review my video on the reverse punch and how to get the power. Okay, ready? Cheerio! Concentrate, sir! Jumbi! Discipline, sir! Concentrate and discipline, the two necessary elements to moving forward and doing better. All right, guys, stick your left hand out for me. Other hand for me, Eddie. Ready? And punch! Aya! Punch! Aya! Punch! something called a horse stance. Okay guys, touch this leg. Okay, and, I, and our view is you'll be doing everything backwards. So this is my left leg and you'll be touching your right leg. I want you just to slide it over so that it's about a shoulder width and a half. Make sure that your weight is directly over the legs and you're bending your knees so that the stress of the weight of the body is on the leg that is what strengthens it. Okay, ready? Stand up, move over. Great job. Stand up, move over. Stand up, move over. Now guys, think of these as moving squats. Ready? Stand up, move over. 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 Stand up. Move over very, very good. At this point, you should begin to feel your muscles begin to kind of sting just a little bit because they're starting to react to the exercise. Now we're going to increase the workout by adding the punch. All right, ready? Show yo. Concentrate. Concentrate. Sir. 
signaling our body that it's time to work. Jumbi, discipline, sir. Okay, so we're gonna stick our right hand out. Right hand, so that, okay. Now we're gonna step out to the left and punch as we do so. Ready, go. Aya. Ready, step up, step over, step up, step over, step up, step over, step up, and over, step up. Now, yep, step up, aya, step. sports and the reason is because it is what I call coordination demanding. Coordination is the use of two or more parts of your body equally as well at the same time. So in this exercise we're going to be doing the punch from a defensive stance and we're simply going to be changing sides. Okay? Now that's going to be coordination demanding. Use at home. Don't give up. It's not necessarily simple, but with a little work, you'll see that it's, it's easier than you first think. All right, cheerio. Concentrate, sir. Defensive stance. Aya. All right. Punch out with your back hand. Punch. Change sides. Now punch. Change sides. Now punch. Change sides. Now punch. Change side, a little faster, punch. I have chain side, 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 punch. I have very, very good. Very good. Cheerio. Concentrate, sir. Okay, so at this stage, the coordination demands get a little bit too much for six-year-olds and below. And so I'm going to dismiss, dismiss young Eddie at this point. Bow, respect. And I'm going to work with his older sister. Now, if you notice, the students are repeating things. Discipline, concentration, respect. Martial artists have three things that are consistent. Every martial artist on the planet has these things. One is courteous, courtesy. The other is respect. And the other is discipline. And we reinforce that whenever we're working out. Now, the next level is a preparation for karate type fighting called sparring. It's not really fighting. It's more like a game of chess with martial arts moves. We'll take a look at that in another video. But right now, let's take a look at the, the, the footwork itself. Okay, ready to concentrate? Yes, sir. Cheerio! Concentrate, sir! Defensive stance, aya! We're gonna be using a cross step to move forward, which means we're gonna take our back foot, cross over the front foot, and then replace it with the back foot. We move up. Now we're gonna do the same thing, moving backwards. Front foot, back foot. Now, back foot, front foot. Front foot, back foot. Okay, we're gonna move back just a little bit to make sure that the viewers at home can stay with us. Ready? Front foot, back foot. Okay, ready, go. Back foot, front foot. Front foot, back foot. Back foot, front foot. Front foot, back foot. Back foot, front foot, front foot, back foot. Now, when your left leg hits the floor, you're going to do the punch. Watch me do one. So we're going to cross and punch. Then we're simply going to step back. Ready? Go. Aya. Go. Aya. Go. Aya. Go. Aya! Great job. 
Now we're going to reverse the technique. So we're going to be moving backwards. One of the things that make martial arts superior athletes is the heightened level of coordination, balance, and athleticism. So you're not only able to protect yourself moving forward, but you should be equally as well able to protect yourself moving backwards. Okay, so here we go. We move front foot, back foot, and punch. Now move forward. Move backward. Move forward. Move backward. Move forward. Move backward. Move forward. Now we're going to pick the pace up and give the loud yell to activate our lungs and stimulate the heart. Ready? Go! Aya! Forward! Go! Aya! Forward! Go! Aya! Forward! Go! Aya! Forward! Now, once we have developed our skill set, we're going to be combining the moves forward and backward with a little bit of a jump. The exercise should be done for about one to two minutes at home. Here we go. Bounce for me. Move back so they can see us. Ready? Move forward. Aya! Move backward. Aya! 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 Cheerio. Concentrate, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, everyone. Now remember, building a skill is a slow process. You don't expect to be perfect in a day because if it were easy, anybody can do it. But by continually watching these videos, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and send any comments that you may have below. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.